Uh, this facility uh, exists in order to prove the scalability of research that the laboratory has been doing for over a decade uh, in the production of lower cost carbon fibers. So we'll take the technology that we've proven at a small scale and scale it up uh, here at this facility. Uh, we are uh, in the process now of starting up the facility. Uh, we will be doing today our very first uh, run with material in the line with heat in the ovens. And so uh, today does mark a milestone for us uh, to begin uh, actual carbon fiber production. What is so special about carbon fiber? Carbon fiber, uh, when, when put into a composite part, uh, enables you to make very, very strong and very lightweight parts or, or uh, components. And uh, so the, the, the main application everyone's talking about, of course, is automotive, uh, lightweight vehicles. Uh, the big story this week is the, uh, the unveiling of the new Corvette, of course, which uh, has a lot of carbon fiber and is very lightweight. Uh, our goal is to get carbon fiber at a low enough cost so that uh, we can get it in the everyday automobile and make it affordable uh, for the consumer. Behind me is the carbon fiber conversion line. Uh, which is a uh, somewhat of a uh, conventional uh, process, although for our research uh, we've made a lot of special features on this line, including a lot of instrumentation and a lot of uh, additional controls on the line. So uh, the large uh, pieces of equipment you see in the foreground are the uh, oxidation or stabilization ovens. Uh, this is where the carbon fiber begins to change its chemistry in preparation to go uh, further down the line where we have large furnaces that reach uh, between uh, up to a thousand degrees C in the low temperature furnace and up to two thousand degrees C in the high temperature furnace and that's where the fiber is actually becoming carbon.